welcome to Beth's Happy Home, or in this case, welcome to Grandma's Home, because I am keeping a promise that I made to some of my grandchildren that I would come up with a craft that they could sell made out of materials that they probably have around the house. And so this is a combination of a bunch of different tutorials that I watched online, and they are going to um, be, and this is going to be geared toward a child's level of abilities and materials. So what you're going to need, you're going to need at least two colors of yarn, one for the beard and one for the hat. And if you want to use a combination of colors for the hat, then you can um, use three, cup, three different colors. And then you're going to need something to stuff the little hat with. I, a cotton ball will work if you have those. If you don't, use a um, piece of toilet paper to stuff in there to just kind of keep it um, shaped. You're going to need some hot glue. You're going to need a bead for the nose and you're going to need some sort of a little embellishment for the hat. Um, these are some little bells, they'd be cute. Beads, a little bit of greenery with a few berries or something like that, just any little thing. And then you're also gonna need one of Grandma's books because it's just the right size and thickness. If you haven't already read it, you should do that first, but otherwise, you're gonna wrap the yarn around it to get it just the right length for the hat and then for the beard. So, let's get started. First of all, you're going to take one of Grandma's books that is six inches wide and half an inch thick and wrap the yarn around 30 wraps. And so I'm using three stand, strands at a time. I'll only have to do it 10 times. So there's one, two, three, four. All right, so that should be 30 strands around there. And the ends all are on this end, so I'm just going to cut them off right there. Cut them off from the length of the skein. So that is for the hat. Then you need a piece of toilet paper roll about a half an inch wide. And just cut it with a pair of scissors. That'll be the brim of the hat right there. Next, you're going to do the beard. Now, this can be any color. I'm going to use black for this one. I used white for this one right here. And he's cute either way. You can use an ecru. You can use um, strands from a mop. People use all kinds of things. Want 35 wraps around the book for the beard. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 35. This is a four ply yarn, but if you're using a three ply yarn like this, you're going to want to do 40 wraps instead of 35. But we're going to do the hat. So for this one, we'll use for this one, we'll use this little um, half inch strip of toilet paper roll. And here's our little hat yarn. So all you do, is you take a piece of yarn and you fold it in half and then you stick it through the middle of the of the roll open it up and then pull the tail through it like that and then it makes a little knot with the tail hanging down and do that all the way around until this ring is completely covered so I'm going to add a few of these dark ones in here too. So you fold it in half, stick it through the middle, and then stick the ends through the loop and pull it straight. And try to keep your ends even as well. So we'll just go all the way around until it's completely covered. Make sure that you go through, that you put your loop through from the same direction every time. So if you want the knot on the bottom, you go from the opposite side. Put it through there, like that. Pull the ends through.
and see how it's going to look. It's going to be cute. Okay, I've got this almost done. There's just one little space left for one more. I had to cut a few extra because it didn't quite cover this time. And it will depend a little bit on the thickness of the yarn. And this blue yarn is a lighter yarn. Anyway, then cut a 20 inch long one. These are 10 inches. And cut a 20 inch long one and put it on as the last one. So it's going to have a much longer tail than the others do, and that's going to be what you hang it from the Christmas tree from. So you're going to just going to build it right into the hat. There you go. So this is what you end up with. It's all covered, and then there's one really long one, and you're going to have to be careful not to cut that as you're as you're going through this process. So now that you have it like this, um, you're going to hold these tails right here, kind of smooth them out so they're straight, and then stuff them right through the middle of that ring. Just right on through. And I'm all to go. And then comb them out with your fingers. And you kind of want to line up the stripes if you've, if you've used a second color of yarn. You kind of want to line them up so that they will be just above the part where the stripe is going to be on the band. And if you don't kind of comb them, they won't necessarily be straight. And it looks better if they're a little bit straight. So once they're all combed and, and a little bit tidy, you're going to take another piece of yarn and you're going to tie it off at the top right there to make a cap. If you want to stuff a cotton ball in right then or a piece of tissue that's about the size of a cotton ball, um, go ahead and do it. You're going to tie it right about there. And if your embellishment that you're going to add has a little loop on it, like a button or a bell, you may as well tie it on right now. And mine does. I'm going to use another bell. So I'm going to thread this through, if I can, through the bell and then tie it on at the same time that I tie off my little hat. Okay, I threaded my little bell onto this piece that I'm going to tie off with and you want it just about twice the width of your band is going to be the height of your hat. So just tie another square knot, left over right, right over left. on it good and tight. It's a good idea to have someone else hold, put their finger on it for you so that you can keep it really tight. And then turn it and tie it again on the back. And you can use a piece of ribbon for this if you want to, the, of contrasting ribbon. And that looks cute, but you don't need to. It's going to be cute without it too. So that's what it looks like right now. And now you're going to protect this long tail because that's your hanging piece. Pull it off to the side so that it doesn't get trimmed. And then trim off this excess to look, make it look like a pom-pom. So there you have a very cute little gnome hat. Maybe trim it. A little bit shorter on the sides. All right, I am switching projects because the black yarn that I started with did not show up very well. So um, 
At this point, you're going to tie off the long strand that you left loose. Leave about three inches above the top of the hat with a, a good tight knot and then tie this into a bow just to look kind of cute. This is the part that will go on the branch of the tree. Just scoot the yarn down to it's a till it's a kind of a tight little bow and then trim off the edges. You don't really want the tails hanging down. So that makes a, a presentable um, little hanger. And next you're going to do the beard. Now the beard um, is for this lightweight white yarn it is 45 wraps but instead of cutting it off the book like you do for the hat you're going to just slide it off and leave it still looped. And then once you have your little coils, we'll cut it free right there. Just take a piece of yarn and tie it. Find the center of your coil. The center is going to be about right here, but you want it to be a little bit off center. So you're going to cheat it up about a half an inch from the center. If the center's here, you'll tie it right here. Now I'm going to tie it as tight as I can because I don't want this beard pulling loose. Flip it over and give it another cinch. That way it should be pretty well cinched down. Okay, so now the next step, you've got this asymmetrical little creation. You're going to fold it right where the yarn is so that the, the short one is overlapping the long one. And then take a wad of glue. Uh oh. You're going to put a big wad of glue on the inside of this gnome hat. And then put your finger right here where the, where the yarn um, tie is and just push that up with the short side right underneath your embellishment if your embellishment is supposed to be in the front. So just put it right up there like that and make sure that that glue has had plenty of time to grab and kind of fluff it a little bit. Don't pull it yet until it's had time to set up. But while it's setting up, while that glue is hardening a little bit, you're going to get your little nose put on. Now for this nose, I'm just going to use a little round wooden bead. I decided that I like the round beads better than the long um, oval beads because the other ones just look too aquiline and we don't want a snobby looking gnome. So center it right under the embellishment little gobagoo glue that is and put the hole up into the brim of the hat so that the hole on the bead is facing downward I've got a little bit of glue oozing out there I don't want that so I'm gonna push it out of the way Okay, he should be set enough. And then I take my scissors about a half an inch below the nose and I hold them at an angle so that they are at the tip of the scissors. It's about an inch, the, the yarn is about an inch long. So right from underneath it's about a half inch to about an inch and then I cut through that part of the beard. See how it makes kind of a half mustache there? Do the same thing on this side. Just meeting right there. And all of a sudden his mustache appears. And then just find any loops that you can and make sure they're cut. 
because you don't want to have loops. Beards are not loops. Now, by cutting the mustache like that asymmetrically, it makes that it um, the other half of those loops that were on the short side form the second layer of the beard. So it has kind of some dimension. But um, you want to trim this beard so that it looks a little bit tidier than it's going to look just right out of the right out of the first snipping. And sometimes you need to trim a little bit more mustache just to keep it really obvious and not have his beard blending in. I think that looks pretty cute. And now I'm going to separate these hairs, these yarns, just a little bit right under the nose so that it does give a little bit more of an effect of the mustache. So, now I'm ready to give him a little bit of embellishment. I'm going to put a little tiny dab of glue right here at the base of the pom-pom and add a bead just for a little bit of interest. And then I have these two little leaf beads that are cute. See that? I'm going to tuck those into, since they're shaped like a leaf or maybe even a feather, I think I can put them right here in the front. Put some of them on the side. This one I'm going to do on the front so that they're facing, they're flaring outward. Those look rather cheery, don't they? Oh, he is looking really cute. And I think he's all done. So, if you have any questions, feel free to make a comment. It's a cute little project, and it's easy enough that children can do it. And I hope, Kate and Michaela, that this meets your needs, and that you'll make a million dollars selling cute little gnomes this Christmas. Love you. Bye-bye.